right, folks, thank you for coming out today. We're, we're here today to protest Mayor Bloomberg's decision to eliminate Priority 7 vouchers and to urge him to immediately restore this vital daycare and after-school program, which is slated to end this month. Uh, we're joined today by many dignitaries, uh, starting with our city's public advocate, uh, Bill de Blasio, our uh, assistant majority leader, Council Member Lou Fiddler, uh, with Council Member Steve Levin from uh, Williamsburg, hiding right behind me, Council Member Brad Linder from Borough Park, uh, Council Member Mark Weprin uh, from Queens, continuing the long-standing Weprin tradition of fighting on behalf of the Jewish community. We like appreciate that. Eastern that. Brooklyn. Eastern Brooklyn. That's good. Thank you. It's like Marty Marco. And uh, we have everyone's favorite council member, Jumani Williams, who's here as well. Thank you, uh, Jumani. We also have uh, representatives from quite a few elected officials who couldn't be here, including from Borough President Scott Stringer's office, Kevin, Senator Kevin Parker, Senator Eric Adams, Council Member Karen Kozowitz, Council Member Matthew Eugene, Council Member Sarah Gonzalez, and Councilman Mike Nelson. You know, before before we start today, I just I just want to comment that. It's actually rather sad that the media talks about Priority 7 as if though it's some sort of political game. It's not a game to the thousands of children who, don't, who won't have daycare next month. It's not a game to the hundreds of people who are going to lose their jobs. And it's not a game to the scores of families that are going to endure strife because their children will no longer have the resources they need. This is a question of right and wrong, and there's no question that the city is wrong. And here are the facts. The facts are that 7.5% of school children in New York City are Orthodox. Of those, nearly 100,000 children, the overwhelming majority live in households well below the poverty level. Obviously, nobody expects that 7.5% of the city's resources for children will go towards the Orthodox Jewish community, but the numbers are shockingly low. For example, of the 140,000 daycare slots, less than 3% go to the Orthodox Jewish community, of which 80% are through Priority 7 vouchers. That's shocking when you consider that 75% of the community is eligible for free daycare. And there's a reason for this, because Orthodox Jewish families defy the bell curve. And they don't fit into our traditional notions of poverty. For example, many programs are geared to single parents' households and households with fewer children. A typical Orthodox household can have 7 to 12 children. And so it doesn't necessarily make sense for a spouse who has four kids under the age of four to go out and work and pay $30 an hour for daycare to in return only make $8 an hour. That's exactly why Priority 7 was created. It was created to close this gap. And it's not just us who believes there's a gap. The Administration for Children's Services, in their own reports, in 2008 says that the highest communities with unmet needs are Williamsburg and Borough Park, the heart of the Orthodox Jewish community. I want to make one final point, and that is a point of fairness these cuts would disproportionately impact one community. When you cut firehouses across the city or senior services, they're proportional. These are not proportional, and there's no way for this community to make it up. The city is telling the Orthodox Jewish community you don't care about your children. After all, most of the community sends their children to non-public schools, so this is one of the few services that the community's children gets. The bottom line is this. If the mayor said that the city was closing firehouses in Hispanic neighborhoods only, we'd all be outraged. If he said that we're only closing Asian senior centers, we'd be appalled. The fact is that he's singling out poor Orthodox Jewish community for elimination of daycare, and that's simply unacceptable. This decision discriminates against one poor population that is historically underserved by city-funded child care. I also want to recognize quite a few community leaders who are here as well, including Rabbi Chaim Dubbers Wibel of the Good Israel of America, Rabbi David Niederman of the UGO of Williamsburg, Rabbi Leith Lance of the Sotmer Institutions, Rabbi Dr. Marty Schloss, the Board of Jewish Education, Rabbi Heshi Demister from Bubba, and Rabbi David Oberlander of Pupa. We have Jeff Lev representing the Sephardic Community Federation, and Yosef Kanuski of Teach NYS. I want to quickly introduce our public advocate. Our public advocate, you all know who he is. Many of you may not know that he was there for the community. He represented the Orthodox community. And he's led this Priority 7 fight. And quite frankly, it's shameful that we have to be here again, only one year after they promised us to restore Priority 7, to try again to save this program. Our public advocate, Bill de Blasio. Thank you.